Hello people, and today we're going to take a look at uh, more games. As you point out, this is the fourth round of recording I'm doing on the series. And yes, first game we're going to cover is game number 77, De Block. Let's see what this is like. Well, it seems pretty decent so far. Uh, blocks are just a puzzle game, I suppose. Doesn't really look like it though. So, let's start. Uh, okay, level zero. Ah, okay, get music. Okay, what is this? <laughs> I don't understand this. Um, oh, I see. It's like I don't know what this is like. This is like that. Uh, what's that game? That the catch mode from Tetris DS. It's a lot like that, where you have to try. Well, I presume it's the same. Uh, you have, we have to try and catch blocks and make like a square shape or something like that. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So yeah, I do know what I'm doing now. So, because of course Nintendo ripped it off. Well, I say Nintendo, I forget if it's them who actually developed it. I just know it's got a very sort of 8-bit style to it. Because they had like a Metroid theme version of this. To put it simply. So yeah, you match up. Well, you don't really match up anything. You just try and get them in a square shape so you can get rid of all the pieces. Uh, sound effects remind me of Hummer Team. I'll say that much right now. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's an official game, but the sound effects remind me of Hummer Team. Oh, bugger. Well, I think you understand how this works. Uh, this system, yeah, it does go up levels. And just get to level 1. Actually, how many lines do you have to get rid of to get to level 1? I'm not actually sure. Well, I must say, considering what some of the previous games were like, this isn't too bad. It's actually quite fun. Oh, this looks tricky. It's tricky to rock around, rock around, it's right now, time is tricky. Yeah, anyway. Uh, oh, oh, no. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I want to do that. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's move on. Game number 78, I think. Yeah, game 78 is bowling. Let me guess, this is the same as the other one. Oh, nope, apparently it's a completely different game to the other bowling game. Which is good. Uh, for better or worse, I don't know. Uh, one player, please. In fact, this looks just like that game I have in the Game Boy. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure it has the same name as well. Uh, oh, no, I've just got 15. Who, who really cares? Okay. Well, so far it looks better than Donna Bowling in terms of presentation. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I get this. Well, it seems to be a bit better than Donna Bowl, I suppose. In my opinion, of course. Uh, probably, I suppose Game Boys, it's not quite as good as the Game Boy version. I mean, that one seems to have slightly better physics. But, it's not bad, as far as bowling games go. Although, granted, I've... <laughs> but yeah, the physics look a bit off. Um, oh no, it looks a bit more accurate in Doma Ball. But I suppose it's really a moot point as to which one's better. So, yeah, let's uh, move on to the next game, which is Space Hunter. I don't know what this is. Okay, Space Hunter by Kemko. Uh, okay, what's going on? Because the AB button just does nothing. Uh, what to go to this great planet? Okay, apparently I've got a password. Oh, okay, you can pause the game to do that. Uh, okay, what? <laughs> What's going on? Why is stuff exploding for no reason? Oh, I see. Uh, you press up to use your jetpack, and apparently the AB button sort of do attacks or something. So, it looks like what, it kind of reminds me of uh, Airwolf on the old 8-bit computers, except this seems to be more confusing and, oh, bugger. Oh, wait, no, I didn't die, I lost health. And the game seems to have one song that loops through the whole game. Well, presumably, I haven't actually. Oh, great, so it's a maze game, wonderful. So I just have to find my way around this maze and, well, can't be bothered with this. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, game variety is... Bugger. 
Yes, Transformers. Now I, now I have the real cartridge of this game, and I actually tried doing a Let's Play of it pretty recently, and failed miserably, because this game is bloody impossible. And I'll try to explain why in this video. So yeah, two lives, wonderful. Uh, well, presumably it plays exactly the same as the real cop, because, it, I mean, it has copyrights in it. These enemies are annoying as hell. It should be worth pointing out that the ones that move, that dive at you like that, don't give you pelps. The ones that fly straight do, although a lot, although most of the pelps are pretty useless. The only one that's really worth gain is the, I forget what it was called. I think it was, no, that's just a, oh, yeah. well, it's another deep hell up. The deep hell ups to downgrade your weapon, so don't bother with them. The deep helps downgrade your weapon, although it only really does anything if you get a peep help beforehand. So the peep help upgrade your weapon. And yeah, uh, avoiding bullets is completely based on luck. So, yeah. Don't expect to get very far without cheating. Takara made a game about Transformers, but it's really lame. Straight from the Gear Girls game. It's bullshit! Yeah. Well, that's the game in a nutshell. Um, game number 81 is... Pfft, what's... Kur Kuroki. I don't even know what that is. Uh, okay, apparently it's the Karate Kid. Yeah, because... Whatever. They're not really good with names on the menu, are they? Uh, okay. Yeah, this game I did actually play before. Uh, not on this multicop, but I have played before on... Uh, on emulator, oh great, and the oh great, the blooming turbo buttons don't work. Not like a mouse, because this stage is pretty easy. But I always tend to lose for some reason because I'm an idiot. It's like you have to kick them at the right time, I think. And when they duck, they just yeah. I don't get what the C and D things are for on the top right. But yeah, basically you do this karate tournament just like in the film. And which is funny because now nah, whatever. I'm sure you've all seen the Karate Kid, and I'm sure you all know how the Karate Kid works. You know, wax on, wax off, and all that. But there is no waxing on and waxing off in this game. And yeah, I won the tournament. I am going to show you stage 2, because the game changes a lot when you get past stage 1. Yeah, the game turns to a sort of side-scrolling beat-em-up, and it is one of the cheapest beat-em-ups I've ever played. It's not as, I wouldn't say it's as bad as Double Dragon 3, but it's still pretty bad nonetheless. Because... Yeah, it's just, it's awkward as hell just trying to get anywhere in this thing. You also get bonus stages every now and then, and nope, I can't drop down from this platform, wonderful. Well, nope, I'm pressing the buttons, so it won't let me. This is a problem, because from my experience, when you're on the high ground, you tend to get hit a lot more. I'm not sure if that's just me being an idiot, but that's just from my experience. Because there was duck, there was duck, when you try to kick him from above. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, well, I'm not doing too badly. Uh, I'm actually making some pro. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I see. The C sort of help, sort of heals you or something. I'm sure there's a bonus stage coming up. I forget where. I forget how to get to the bonus stage, though. So. Yeah, the enemies. Oh, okay. Apparently, the enemies can jump down. Didn't realise that. Thankfully, the C pelps appear a fair bit. Like I said, this is. It's. It's bad, but it's not as bad as Double Dragon 3. At least we can actually make some progress in it. Because Double Dragon 3 is just impossible. This game, yeah, it's, it's not that bad. I, mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's as bad as most people say it is. It's just a cheap game a, a lot of the time. And yeah, you can do duck kicks and all that. I mean, for 1987, audio-visually, it actually looks very... I mean, I must say, graphically, the graphics and music are actually very impressive for 1987. Um, I believe the game was developed by a company called West One and published by LGN, of course. But I'm not 100% uh, sure on that. But it wasn't. I know it wasn't by LGN themselves because, like I said, they only publish games. They never made any, to my knowledge. So I'm pretty sure they just publish games from other companies. Just boop boop. But yeah. Uh, well, this is the first I've actually gotten in this game, I will admit. I tried playing it a bit and I did really terrible at it. 
I know the third stage is some sort of monsoon or something ridiculous. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, the enemies jump around. They jump up, jump up, and get down. Ah, here we go, boss time. Oh, bugger, he likes to duck. See, I would duck more myself, but... Just... Ah, okay, I won. Yeah, the fights themselves tend to be pretty easy. It's when you're doing the beat em up sections where the game is actually pretty hard. Um, the game is short, but I'm not going to bother going through the rest of it, because it would just drag on too long. I think I'll cover one or two more games in this part. Depends on what this next game is like. Uh, Kadil. <laughs> I'm guessing it's gibberish, just like the last title. Hector Plane Interface. Wonderful. Uh, I don't even know what that means. Uh, oh, okay, apparently it's called Cadillac. What do you mean, not the car? <laughs> okay, uh, great, so in Japanese, huh? what's going on? Okay, car to the Playboy Bunny on, and the kid dressed up as a Playboy Bunny. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I'm dropping cards down, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's like poker, you have to like, get straight and pushes and hey, I'm right. Yes, apparently I'm right, you do have to get straight and pushes and such and such. Uh, well, I presume you can get flushes at least. Uh, ten. Yeah, let's go with that. Hope this game gets fast, pretty fast, or something. Okay, ten. An unfortunate number for one such as you. Okay, five. Where do I put the five? I don't know where to put the four. Oh, well, there's a queen's coming up, so I might as well. Oh, bugger. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at this, <laughs> as you probably noticed. Okay, Queen. <coughs> okay, okay, that was weird. Uh, okay, apparently matching a Queen at ten to six gets rid of the. I don't stand that. Like, what do? What I mean? What does Queen ten to six have in common? Okay, and apparently you can pause the game with the A button. I, I don't understand that. Well, it doesn't seem too bad. It comments if that. What's that game called? Stack him. It reminds me of that game off the Caltron. No, not Caltron. It reminds me of um, Stack him off the Maxi 15. Just like a compilation of unlicensed games. It's not too bad, I will admit. But it's a bit confusing, to say the least. Anyway, um, I think that's enough of that. So, join me in the next part where I will go over. Wota Pip? <laughs> what? I don't even understand what that means. Anyway, uh, see you then.